Welcome back to Immortal Empires and welcome to a new week. It's a beautiful Monday morning here and I've decided we're going to play some Boris. Uh, so Reborn. let's go ahead and start we'll the episode. Uh, our army is basically fully healed here. Uh, I did misclick before I started recording, hence the uh, missing movement range here. Uh, but that's fine. Now, I think we're going to go ahead and attack the monolith of the Bubonicus. Whilst the tempo is in our favour, they have a half stack here. Uh, the garrison, not too big either. So I think we could easily beat this before our Kaon returns. Because I think he might be returning this end turn or the next end turn. Uh, these guys could forge mar force march back, but it's only a lord, and these guys are out of range. Uh, so I think we're fine here. Let's just carry on uh, marching towards the monolith. We could go raiding. They can reach us, though, so let's not go raiding. We don't want to be caught off guard, do we? Um, so let's go ahead and get ourselves over here. That should be fine. Now, we also have Godrek over here. Uh, Godrek is still making his way down to the Tower of Torment. I'm going to rush down there, still using Force March. Next turn, we can get inside there and get some recruitment for his army as well. Things will be looking good then. As for the Frost Maiden, Maiden of the Frost. I think I'm just going to keep her here, just spying a little bit. We do have two Slanesh armies. This one's not so worrisome, at least. Uh, we also have to watch out for them, because we don't know if they're, or when they're going to declare war against us, I would uh, imagine. Now, let's go ahead and do some buildings. We can now build. We've only got 2,400 gold. So, we already have some income here. We could get another 50 income. However, we could build income. I really want buildings. I would really, really, really like military buildings and stuff. But I kind of need income as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Tower of Torment. We've already built there. We could build in the Burning Monolith. I'd say this is quite safe. Uh, there's a few buffer settlements keeping it safe uh, so let's see we could go ahead let's use the building browser just because it's a little bit easier to see everything we could go down this line i'm not interested in these units this has the strozzi at tier three armored cossars and normal cossars with spears so i think we should go with this line uh, we can't do these lines we have to build those in capitals so let's go ahead and spend 863 gold on a cossar hut and then we're going to upgrade that. We can eventually get Armored Cossars. And then even Strozzi. Uh, I think those are the awesome guys with the axe shotguns that I saw in the trailer. Uh, that would be beautiful. And then what we could do here is maybe in the monolith of Festalung. Let's go ahead and build some brine mining pans. Uh, to get some extra income coming. Because we only need the one military building right now I think. Uh, so that's all looking good. We could go ahead and upgrade this as well. Let's see, get some more controlling growth. Is it that important right now? We could also upgrade this. That could give us another Patriarch, which would actually be somewhat useful, I think. I think I might do this. I just realized that there's Vindex. Um, oh dear, Godrek might be caught out a bit here. Um, my mistake, and the Frost Maiden can't really get over that. Okay, that's uh, silly from me. I should have expected that. Uh, we'll have to see how that plays out. We could also go ahead and build in the, um, up here. The right, no, we can't build up here. That's fine. So what I might do is actually upgrade this. 650 gold, 1,000. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade this, and then maybe we can get a Patriarch. Or we should wait the turn, and then we could recruit you. Let's save the gold. Right, let's go ahead and check our diplomacy. We're very short on gold right now. We're going to have to try and address that uh, in the coming turns. Nothing to do on diplomacy. So let's go ahead to turn uh, 31 here. There we go. We have been ambushed by the all-seeing eye. Um, I don't think we're going to win this one. So we might as well just auto-resolve it. It's the same that Godrek and Felix are going to basically be dead after this. However... Um, it will save us a bit of uh, gold per turn, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll have to go ahead and deal with that one. Okay, something interesting happening here. The Beastmen are actually moving in on the Chaos Settlement. And we have joined them as reinforcements. Now, this would be a decisive... Uh, victory here with low casualties so i think i might just go ahead and auto resolve this one of course we could just 
uh, load in manually as well and let the AI uh, fight everyone here because I think these guys will be controlled by the AI. I'm not quite sure but I will actually just go ahead and auto resolve that and that's looking like uh, Fortune is finally siding with us there. There we go. Uh, we didn't take many casualties at all. In fact, the Beastmen uh, took all of the casualties there. We do gain a Pendant of Slanesh. So when we're engaged in melee, we get plus 25% speed and plus 40 melee attack. However, we get plus 3 Slanesh co uh, corruption in the local province as well. 2,500 gold and 18 devotion. I think I'm going to go ahead and claim the extra gold here. That's another 698 gold. That's looking really nice. Uh, quite lucky there with the Beastmen. And there we go, Felix and Godrek uh, have been wounded. And Felix did gain a new trait though. Uh, plus 10 melee attack, plus 10 melee defense, and gained the ability Full Seeker. Uh, Godrek also got the same, and Godrek is wounded as well. We do gain a Hedge Wizard. Winds of Magic Power Reserve change, plus 8% when increasing. And would you look at that? War host of the apocalypse have been obliterated. There is nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of thirsting gods. Goodbye, Archaeon. That's a huge relief. Now, we're still probably going to have to deal with this Slanesh faction. Um, what's Vindex doing? He's still taking attrition damage. His army is looking uh, quite weak. He might just die out to attrition uh, at this rate. Our gold is looking slightly better. Boris does have an upgrade, so let's go ahead and do this. I think things are starting to look on the up for sure. Uh, what should we go ahead and get him? Uh, hit points below 50% base. I'd rather him not get that low to begin with, though. That's for Targards. And we could carry on going down this tree. Um, let's see. I think we're going to go and get Heroic Resilience. Because it does make him a bit tankier uh, for when he does go below 50%. So he can last longer in battle. Uh, let's go ahead and look returns. at our Frost Maiden. Guardian's cool. What is this? Summons a Snow Leopard. Uh, summon unit has greatly increased melee attack and melee defense. This could be good. The range is only 50 meters. Sorry, I hit the mic there. Uh, the range is only 50 meters. But this could be good for sniping other uh, casters, maybe. So let's go ahead and unlock this. That sounds nice. And then our Patriarch here. Uh, what do we want to be giving him? We already have replenished troops maxed out. Missile resistance I don't feel is super important because he's not a huge target. Let's go ahead and give him some more armor. There we go. Things are all looking nice. And I just want to quickly check. What's our... Everyone has equipment. Okay. Who just got the new Slanesh um, item, I wonder? What was it even called? Um, I forget. I don't see anything here with Slanesh in the name. Um, did Gotrek and Felix take it? Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. I think I was imagining things. We don't seem to have it. Okay. Um, we still need to get the armor of Urson as well. Do we already have that quest available to us? We do. Occupy, loot, raise or sack three different settlements. Okay, so we're about to get this now. We could go ahead and... Ah, oh, this would be a colonize, right? How much gold do you want to colonize this? Might be a little bit expensive. Oh, it's free. Oh, doesn't Boris have a trait for this? Um, so Viagra in battle is tired for one turn. So let's go ahead and colonize the monolith of Bubonicos then. Uh, we gain access to the armor of Urson and 5,000 gold. Uh, plus 10 armor. Enemy hero action success chance minus 10%. Wound recovery time minus 1. Melee defense plus 8. And a new passive ability. Uh, so if hit points are less than 50% base, we get base weapon damage plus 18%. Armor piercing weapon damage plus 18%. And plus 12 melee attack. So it seems like actually we want... Boris to just get stuck in because when he's at half health he's just that much stronger um so that's interesting we have equipped the armor already which means we do have a spare glittering scales now does everyone have armor on you have a charmed shield isn't glittering scales quite nice it is enemies within range lose uh, weapon attack Damage resistance plus 20% is too nice to give up. I think I'm going to give her the glittering scales. Uh, the charmed shield. Yeah, we don't really need that on her. So that's looking fine as well. Right. What's the plan of action now? I kind of want to tell the beastmen to go away. We should probably declare war on them and to sort them out. We also need to go ahead and do a Vindex vote. We have 10,000 gold. So I don't think recruiting a lord here 
is that bad of an idea? Um, how long? Mikkel isn't back for another two turns, unfortunately. So, do we have... We have Determined... Uh, stronghold, a melee defense plus five when in own territory. That could be nice. Vanguard. I think we're going to go ahead and get Borod in here. Let's go ahead and recruit him. Pull him inside the settlement. And we're going to go ahead and recruit some units. Now, I think for now, just some normal Cossars are fine. Of course, we also need to go ahead and upgrade this building so we can get armored Cossars. That's going to take two turns. Uh, I'm okay with that. We could also upgrade this. However, I think we should get some tier 3 settlements. So the Tower of Torment, that's already been upgraded. Uh, Monolith Festalung. Let's upgrade you. That's a lot of our gold gone. Now we upgrade this, that's another 50 gold. We upgrade this, that's another 50 gold. But we also get uh, income from markets plus 2. Is this a market? It is. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and build the, the brain mining basin then. And that sounds like a good idea as well. Uh, a gold is looking okay. Might be a little problematic. I could send a warning, but every time I send a warning, they decide to raid me. So maybe, uh, let's see, if I don't send a warning, maybe they won't raid me. We could build here, but I'm just going to save the gold. Let's check our diplomacy. Still nothing. We're going to have to go and discover some people. I don't know the area of this map as quite as well. But I think if we send our Frost Maiden over here, maybe we can discover some people, right? Uh, some other Kislevites. So let's go ahead and send her this way. Is it not just quicker to sail across? I think it is, right? Uh, let's just go ahead and sail her out. I'm going to sail her down here. Uh, maybe she can find someone to trade with. Right. Uh, that looks like everything for turn 31. Let's go ahead to turn 32. Vindex has arrived. And it's a close defeat. That's a lot of ranged units there. I mean, we have to try and fight this one manually. However... I don't think anything we do here is really going to change the outcome of this. Um, yeah, just look at all the units here, actually. I don't think there's any point even trying to fight this one outright. Unless we literally... We could just try very quickly. If we can kill Vindex, maybe we have a chance. However, just look at all the ammunition that's going to be firing in. Let's give it a try. Uh, and if it fails, well, it would have been a close defeat on the auto-resolve anyway. Right, here we go then. We do have some territory we could take advantage of. However, we sit here. I think the enemy can just shoot over that. And I don't think we can take advantage of this, can we? How long on reinforcement? Six seconds, so that's fine. Uh, I will go ahead and move you back. Let's go ahead and start the battle. And I think I am just going to uh, fully charge and try and kill the enemy lord. Um, yeah, we don't even have any abilities, which sucks. I really don't think... Oh, what's happening there? There we go. That's uh, a bit interesting. I don't think too much is going to happen here. So let's lower our expectations. Uh, we're going to go this way just because I think that's where the enemy lord was. Um, we still got more units coming in very slowly. There we go. Uh, coming in one at a time. Uh, take your time, lads. There we go. Let's keep moving. Right, that's everyone. That's good. Right, so now we need to go ahead and try and just hunt down... Uh, the enemy lord, we could do something like this. It's not going to do much, though, is it? I think I saw him over on this flank somewhere. Um, is he here? I don't see him. Where is the enemy lord? Oh, he's coming behind us. Uh, sneaky, sneaky. Right. We're already engaged in melee here. Can we get an early kill on him or not? Uh, something tells me probably not. Let's go ahead and fast forward here. Uh, they are engaged in melee. We can take the barrier down. Yeah, our lord's not too good in one-on-one -on -one combat either, it looks like it. He is losing HP, though. We just lost the unit, though. Um, are we going to get the kill or not? There we go. I can feel yeah, you can just click on this avatar. Of course, if we do lose this, it's not really a big deal anyway. The auto-resolve also said the close defeat. Um... Maybe we'll get a decisive defeat here instead. Yeah, it's fine. The battle was over. We tried to save it. Uh... We won't worry too much about that. So there we go then. If we're lucky, he would just sack it. Um, but it looks like he has gone ahead and occupied that. So we're going to have to take it back. 
And we have lost our Lord there. Capital lost. The Tower of Torment, Bloodfire Falls. Our capital, the Tower of Tournament, has been captured. That's the capital? I thought the Howling Citadel was the capital. Province capital. Yeah. Um, bit confused there. Uh, Oleg is back though. Uh, the Savage Blow. Many conflicts are won or lost on the strength of the first vicious charge. Men are sent flying from the battlefield, often in pieces even before the savagery of melee begins. A well-timed charge shatters enemy morale as well as bodies. Blood and sweat may cult for victors, but victory is always printed in colours such as these. Those at the head of the charge seek ever greater thrills, ever more bloodshed. As the battles become bigger, the body count grows higher and the trickles of blood become ever-flowing rivers of red. Uh, so for five turns, we get plus 20 charge bonus for all armies of all the factions. If only we had some war bear riders, uh, that would be really nice. Uh, let's see, we still have Urson for two turns, so that's fine. Where did we build our military building? The Burning Monolith. Okay, I was hoping it was there. Um, so, we haven't lost anything too major. Um, I don't think beast men are still free to roam here. I don't like that. Should we quickly take out the beast men? And then we should march our way down here. I mean, the good thing is Vindex can't do anything to the monolith of the Festlung because we would be nearby it. Um, sadly, we can't actually reach the beast men this turn, though. So... That's a little bit tedious. We could force march, though, just so we're as close as possible to them, and then maybe next turn we can uh, hit them there. Are they raiding? Yeah, they're not raiding, so as long as we don't issue a trespass warning, I don't think the beastmen actually raid you, so I think I'm going to start is uh, stop issuing uh, those warnings there. Now, we can go ahead and do some building, uh, so maybe we should do that. Uh, let's see, we could upgrade this, give some control and growth. How is our control? We could do with a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and upgrade this. That's 1,100 gold. And then we could also upgrade this. It's only 650. And it also gives us devotion. Oh, it costs devotion to upgrade, I think. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and do that. That's looking fine. Our gold is looking a bit pitiful, though, isn't it? Um, maybe when we attack the beastmen, we can get some more gold. Let's check our diplomacy. Help. What? Nothing happening here. That seems to be a theme. Uh, with our Frost Maiden, though, maybe, yeah, we can dock here. So let's go ahead and dock here. And we're going to go ahead and hopefully discover some other uh, Kisla factions that we can trade with. That would be nice. Uh, I don't think we've met anyone yet. Faction encountered. Um, these guys are just Norskans, so I doubt they want to trade with us. Uh, that's fine. Oh, we could have got this. I think you need to... Yeah, we need a lord for this. Right, let's go ahead to turn 33. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to do here. Yeah, so that's all looking good. You breathe your last on the point of my spear. So the Northkins have actually declared war against us. Uh, the ones that we just discovered. Our balance's power is pretty even, so I don't think we have to be too scared about them right away. And ready for duty. Mikhail is back uh, in case we want to recruit a second army. I think we should wait for our income though. And we do now have pirates weapons. So we get plus 10% range for Kislev units. Uh, armor piercing missile damage plus 2 for Kislev units. And reload time reduction plus 10% for Kislev units as well. So that's looking nice there. Let's see what else can we get. What is that just unlocked? Uh, range plus 15% for little Grom units. We don't really have those right now. Uh, campaign line of sight. Is there anything over here that would be useful right now? Uh, that's for Ice Guard. Local recruitment capacity. Uh, we don't have the gold to recruit right now. Uh, weapon strength for Snow Leopards. Casualty replenishment and growth could be nice. Missile resistance. Uh, construction cost. Armor piercing for armor costars and stroke seas. Maybe we should get this. I think what we might do is I really want breach loaders, but first let's go ahead and get this casualty replenishment and extra growth. So let's go ahead and research Ocean this. And that gift. should be nice. Now, Here the beastmen have decided to start raiding us now. So we held them off for a little bit. I don't think there's anything too scary in this army. Uh, there's a couple of minotaurs, but they're quite injured. So let's go ahead and attack the beastmen and wipe them out. This should be a fairly easy battle here. 
Uh, they're probably going to run away. We should be able to catch up with them, right? Yeah. They're still very much in range, so that's nice. Now, that's a decisive victory because we also have our garrison here. I think I will just go ahead and auto-resolve that because it's low casualties. Now, let's see. What is this? Plus four leadership. Uh, I guess we just give that to Boris so he stays in battle. Uh, there's no reason to fight this one manually. I don't Mother think so. That's fine. You. We've chopped down the beast men. Yeah, we took basically no damage. 3,000 XP, 1,000 gold and 6 devotion. I'm going to take the extra gold here. 1,200. We definitely need it. And Boris gains a new trait. Leadership aura size plus 20% when attacking and plus 3 leadership when attacking as well. And the Red Horn tribe have been obliterated. Boris also bear. gained a level up from this. So let's see what we want to do with that. Uh, leadership aura size. I don't think we need that right now. We have armor. We have hit points. We have melee defense. Uh, leadership melee attack. Weapon strength. Let's see. Brother of bears could be nice. We don't have war bear riders right now though. So it's not super important. Let's see. This gives 12 melee attack. This gives another 12. We could go weapon strength. But I think if we raise our melee attack... Uh, we do more damage as well, right? Because we hit more often. Uh, so let's go ahead and raise the melee attack. Let's get this one so we can unlock Deadly Onslaught. Our Frost Maiden also awesome. gained a level up. Uh, I'm actually going to upgrade this Guardian's Call. Uh, oh, we should have fought it manually so we could uh, have used this. Uh, I have to keep that in mind for the next battle. And then our Patriarch, Theodore, here. What does he want? I think he wants some hit points. Let's go ahead and give him some hit points. There we go. That uh, seeming he asked nicely. Right. Boris, you need to come back down here. Because we have some imposters. Uh, I think we can force march because they're injured, right? Um, in fact, Vindex isn't even here anymore. I think Vindex has gone back off over to the Port of Secrets. So he's left the, the Tower of Torment undefended. Right, that's good for us. Let's go Maiden ahead and take our Frost Maiden uh, through these lands here. Hopefully there's some Kislev still alive. Not a chance. I don't think they've survived, maybe. Um, the Curse City Troll Country. I mean, this is the Empire, right? So at least we could get some trade with them, um, I guess. So we'll keep sending her that way. Right, Boris has been moved. We have Urson for one more turn. So does that expire on the end turn or at the beginning of my turn? I'm not quite sure. Let's see, we have eight turns left of the Mother Earth as well. Um, so for now, let's just leave that and see what happens. Do a little experiment. We can upgrade some buildings. Everything's looking fine here. We could also get Armoured Cossars now. Demon Slayer. Let's see, let's wait until we take this and then maybe we could uh, do some... Armoured Kossar recruitment. What we could do though is go ahead and upgrade the monolith of Bubonicos here to a tier 1 settlement. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's check our diplomacy. <laughs> Nothing still here. What? I think we're going to have to go meet the Empire. Uh, let's go ahead to turn 34. May the bear forgive me for sharing air with filth like you. And Slanesh are now going to war with us. So, once we take back this settlement, I think we have to march straight back to them. And this is going to be fun. Okay, we've just uh, started our turn in the middle of nowhere. Uh, let's see, Boris can reach the Tower of Torment this turn, so that's good. It uh, doesn't really have a garrison either. I know I said I should fight manually so we can see the Snow Leopard summon, but I don't think this is one. Uh, this isn't really worth it. And in fact, before we attack it, uh, I should probably invoke Urson for the extra melee defense. Uh, so let's go ahead and invoke this. There we go. And not only that, we should have supporters then. Uh, so 49 supporters when we occupy this settlement. Uh, we should have over 50. And I think we might support the Ice Court. Uh, diplomatic relations. If I support one of them, do I begin to get these? I'm not quite sure how this works still. Um, we'll have to see. Oh, but now we have yes. the extra melee defense. Let's go ahead and attack the Tower of Torment. Uh, it might just affect how much damage we take here. There's really not a lot of uh, units in here. So let's auto-resolve this one. There we go. 1,100 XP, 300 gold, 9 devotion. Uh, not too much. 
let's go ahead and occupy this. We do once again have the province under control. Um, campaign movement range. Income from all buildings could be nice. Hero recruitment rank. The problem is, we don't have much gold. So even though we have armoured cossars now, I don't want to dismiss these just to recruit armoured cossars. I mean, how much do they cost to recruit? Only 600 gold. 163 upkeep for these guys. I think I would want um, the ones with the shield. Just because they'll be a bit better in melee against enemy missile units. Um... Yeah, we couldn't afford... We could maybe get a couple. I think we're fine right now. These guys have been doing well. Um, let's save the gold. What we can do is instead go ahead and re-upgrade this to tier 2. I think that's an okay way to spend our money. And then what I'm going to do here... Uh, we could go income from all building plus 5%. Because we desperately need some gold. We could go campaign movement range minus 20% for enemy army starting their turn in this region. And plus four control. We don't really need the control right now, I don't think. Let's go with income from all buildings. I'm sure that will be fine. Now, with Boris, we're going to have to march over here. Uh, that's all good. Where's the Ice Maiden? I am Let's bring her down here. Can we discover anyone else this turn? Okay, we've discovered Prague. Right, they they don't want um, anything to do with us, though, do they? To gain my How attention. much for a trade agreement? I can't afford it, okay. How much for a non-aggression pact? I can't afford it either. Right, if we wait a turn there, relations are improving, so that's fine. We have met our first Kislev faction, which is nice. What we can also do is support the ice court. Um... I can't support the ice court. They won't let me. Uh, add 50 of your supporters to the ice court to earn some benefits. Maybe I have to wait a turn or something for that. We'll have to see. Um, that's fine. Uh, we've already checked our diplomacy. Let's go ahead to turn 35. I don't think there's anything else to be had. Uh, to be done this turn. What's our garrison like here? It's it, it's a garrison. It's something. Right, let's go to turn 35. Settlement lost. The monolith of Bubonicos. Um, how? There was never a pop-up for a fight there. Is this one of Slanesh's um, mechanics? They just took the settlement somehow. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Disaster. We have lost monolith of Bubonicos to Hamwip. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how we lost it. Uh, interesting. Felix is back, as is Godtrek. Uh, so we'll summon Felix and put him in an army somewhere. Um, I just want to, before I end the episode, I still can't support the Ice Court. I think I might need to meet them first. So I should quickly, after this episode, I'm going to look at our map on where uh, Katarina is. Uh, but that's all I have time for today. I would say that was a very good episode. Our Kaon is finally gone. Um, we did manage to hold off Vindex. Uh, I think we're desperately going to need a second army here. Because we need to get rid of Vindex. We also need to get rid of Slanesh. Um, we could deal with Slanesh, to be honest, next episode. Uh, we still have Vindex, of course, for to the west. These Norskans here as well. Um, but yeah, I would say that's a good episode. Thank you for watching. I will be back tomorrow with another episode. Boris is back and nice and strong. See you next time.